Okay. Hello everyone. This is again Bhupesh Sharma. I'm here to present you the second video of the Grafana implementation. Now, if you have not watched my first video, that is about how to implement Grafana onto the Prim Kubernetes cluster, then you can simply go and watch it. Now, in this video, what we are trying to do is we need to integrate Jira with Grafana. Why that is needed? Because suppose if there are alerts that are you know created in Grafana, we need to directly reroute those alerts to Jira, and uh, you know so that we are not monitoring those tickets by either by email or by any other team's channel. So it should be rerouted to you know directly to a Jira account, you know Jira company account. But before we start with this you know, small documentation, how to do it, you know practically onto the cluster, you need to have a Jira account, and uh, either you can create it manually because there's a freeware tool available, you know, directly onto the Jira, or you can, if you have already existing Jira account, you know, the company account or whatever project you're working, you can simply use that. Now, how to create a Jira account, you can simply come here and then create Jira account. That, you know, you'll be rerouted to this Atlassian, uh, you know, website. I'm not going to explain this process, but because that is fairly straightforward. So consider that I already have my Jira account up and running. And uh, this is uh, the URL, and I've already created the uh, API token for that. So how I can create API token, which will be I'll be using into the integration piece. So I can security under security, I can go to the manage API tokens. This is a token, okay, that I've created 12, 12 minutes ago just for the demo purpose. Fine. Now coming back, consider this is my Jira, and uh, this is the test alert that I created some time back. I'll be creating it everything from fresh. So consider this is my Jira and whatever alerts that are there in the Grafana, I want to move all these alerts to this Jira account. So let's get started with the actual implementation. Okay. Now, uh, okay. So we need to you know install first of all this Jira alert into your cluster into the same namespace so that the ticket or the webhook can be created because ultimately we'll be calling that webhook. Now this is the reference documentation to how to uh, install or how to integrate Jira so you can simply read it. Now in this reference documentation, the interesting part is there's no Kubernetes related manifest. So what I've done in this in this demo demonstration, this is a Go Go based Jira you know, application that can be integrated with the Prometheus and Grafana easily, but there's no Kubernetes manifest here. So what I've done, I just replicated this entire you know Prometheus community documentation to the Kubernetes manifest file. So you can see I've created one folder into my GitHub repository. The first one is deployment, where I'm just creating a, creating a deployment or basically creating a pod for Jira alert, which is using this image. And then ultimately using uh, this in you know, a secret called as Jira alert configuration, which is nothing but here. Now here I'm just passing my, uh, you know, important new, uh, things like you know, highlight, uh, consider these, these, you know, two, three things. The API URL is the one which is your company's Jira account or Jira URL, right? So in place of this Bhupesharma, you can have your whatever company's Jira you know, URL. The user ID is your user ID and password is nothing but the API token that you can create it from here, the way I just showed it to you, right? No. These are the three important things. Now the first, fourth and the very important thing is what is the project in which you want to create ticket? The line number 60. Project here is, you can see this GRF. And how I can create you know project? You can simply come here and then go to the project setting. You should be admin for this Jira, and then simply create a project. You can say I've created a GRF project in the same account. Okay, since I was admin, so you can also try it out because creating a account is free completely. Now this is the second important manifest, which is a secret which is being used in deployment. And finally, we are exposing this pod to a service which is called as Jira Alert. Which will be act as a web book and then goes on this port 9097. Right now, I'll tell you that how we are using this service into my Prometheus, uh, you know, Grafana, but in that sometime later. Let me first of all implement this Jira alert as a pod into the container, uh, into the same namespace. Fine. So I am onto this uh, GitHub repository. Let me go inside this Jira alert. I'll follow the documentation. Everything is being properly documented. You don't, you know, don't need to worry. Need to come here, there's a readme Jira. Now I'm on to the first step. The first step is uh, read this documentation and simply come on, in, you know, go inside this folder and then simply run this command. 
Now what this command will do, it will just uh, install all these three manifests one by one into the same namespace. Why same namespace? Because I have defined namespace as matrix. You can simply see this is a matrix. See, so you can either change this namespace according to your need. So currently everything is being uh, installed into the matrix namespace. I'll do a kubectl get pod and yeah, the pod is running. I mean, it is it is it is about to run. We'll keep on looking this pod. Yeah, so it is running. So I'll just simply see the log for this. Kubectl get pod. I'll just check the logs for this pod that I recently created. Everything is okay. Yeah. There's no error. I mean, the logs, the tickets are already created. So we'll do, we'll create everything from fresh. Okay, so Jira alert is up. It is up and running. I can come back here onto my documentation. So next step is, this first step is done. Uh, how, how I can quickly test whether the uh, Jira alert is independently working. So there are, you know, these are two independent pieces. First of all, uh, spinning up a Jira webhook and then integrating that Jira webhook to the Grafana. So first of all, before installing it with Grafana, let me quickly see whether the Jira alert webhook is working, webhook API, where we need to make a call. So I'll just spin up one other uh, curl container. And then from curl, I'll just uh, launch this command. This is the what I'm doing, this is a this is a curl post API post which I'm making to this service. Jira alert is a service at 909 input and want to create a test alert. Okay. So I'll just run this. Okay, so there's no error. So test alert should have been created. I'll do refresh. The test alert is there. Or oh, let me give some different names so that it becomes crystal clear. Mm. Let me give triple one, triple one here. Perfect. So there is no error. So see, triple one has been created. Now you can see. So this is a test alert. There is no everything is test. There is no annotations, labels. Nothing is there. So now we will integrate this with Grafana. Now what I can say, my Jira alert is working independently fine. And uh, the webhook is created. I need to just simply integrate this final piece to the Grafana. So Grafana is running that we ran it in my last video, uh, last train, uh, you know, session. And then now we just spin up this Jira alert pod. Now we need to just manage these two things. So what we'll do, we'll you know, come on to our documentation again, the third and the final step. We'll again upgrade our the existing proof Grafana with this additional, you know, alert manager updation file. And what does this file contains? Now this file contains the alert manager configuration, and you can concentrate on these receivers. Now all the uh, all the receivers, I mean all the alerts will go to these receivers. This is a Jira alert, which is nothing but a web book, and uh, now tickets will go to here. Right. So earlier this thing was blank. If you come to this queue Prometheus stack in, into the values.yml file, see. The receiver is null. Now we are overwriting this uh, this configuration with the configuration that we want to give, right? The Jira alert configuration. So now in this way, the tickets will get created from the alert manager uh, route. Okay. So let me run this piece, uh, the final step. We'll come out of it. Yes, we'll do a dry run first. Just checking everything. Now I'll do a without dry run. Now my Grafana will be updated with the latest alert manager configuration details, the Jira alert or things, okay? It will modify only the alert manager piece.
Fine, let me see kubectl get pods. Perfect. Now, just to verify, before we get into the Grafana, let me see how to do with that verification. I will, will take the kubectl get secret because this alert manager configuration is saved in this alert manager secret. Okay, so I'll just do a OAML. We'll check this. Okay, I'll do this echo. Mm, is 64 minus d right see so i've decoded now the things are being properly you know communicated to here now i'll just simply check whether the things are going i'll delete the jira alert pod so that i should get the latest information delete pod Because my alert manager configuration has been updated. Now this will give you the latest information. And in the meantime, let me spin up the Grafana. I mean, just do a port forwarding. Qptl port forward Grafana 3080. What happened? Sorry. Service. Service. Okay. Perfect. So I'll just see. Just again. I'll come here alerting. Now, in my last video, if you remember, the alert manager configuration was missing. But with this, now you can see the alert manager uh, receiver configuration is also here. The receiver is going to this web book. Now, all the firing rules, rules, firing alert will not reside here. See, there are a lot of firing rules. Okay, interesting. Watchdog is one of the cube controller manager but what we have done what is the filter criteria i'm not dumping everything i'm just putting only limited values i mean when i say the alerts which are starting with watchdog target down or info inhibitor only these kind of alerts are going so watchdog is here let me see okay so i should get only one ticket created i think only for watchdog yeah only for this let's see the uh, logs of jira alert now let me spin up another uh, quick Ubuntu machine. Right. kubectl get pod kubectl log pod of Jira alert. Okay. GRF4 has been created. See? GRF4. Anything else is created? GRF4 is created. Fine. Now everything is, the pod started here. And I cannot see anything other than GRF. Let me do one more thing. Therefore, GRF. What is this? Okay. GRF 5 GRF 4, I can see. I cannot see anything else. Perfect. So only GRF 4 has been created, which is what I was expecting for Watchdog. So let us validate because this, this is the final piece that we are doing, right? As with documentation, we need to validate whether the alerts are going to the Jira or not. That is that is our main and ultimate criteria. So I'll come here. I'll again refresh this. Now, GRF4 is here. That is what we need. And let's see. Uh, this is for which issue? Ah, this is for matrix namespace. So you can see the grouping is happening on matrix namespace. I mean, the namespace. If we have multiple alerts from the same namespace, still we'll get all those alerts in the same ticket. We don't get multiple tickets. Now, what is it? Uh, error detail node exporter okay yeah watchdog is being created let's see quickly ha huh, okay issue has been updated okay I want to just find out anything. Pod is this. Let's quickly see. I'm just trying to validate. Ah, see, the pod is same. Watchdog is just the name of the alert, okay? And this is the port on which it is failing. 
so potentially we are able to get all the alerts that that's what we want that is our that is what is our main criteria the moment we add more alerts here we will get more alerts more tickets get created in the jira according to that so this was the prime uh, you know objective of our entire video if you see just to recap whatever we have done we have first of all checked whether the grafana is running which is which was okay and then uh, we have created a jira alert application as a, as a spin up as a container which is nothing but a webhook api and you can find the detailed documentation here once the api is there then we need to just test the api by a different container called as you know either busy box container or any pod container which can run curl commands so still there is no relation with grafana as of now we are independently testing jira alert application so this is giving this is created test alert which you saw it on here uh yeah the test alert pull one if you remember right this is the test alert pull one that we created now once this is done then you need to marry this thing with the grafana alert manager and i can see i only updated my chart with this information right the alert grafana information so this piece is and then finally we need to check whether the alerts are going to jira or not so that is what we did this is the alert the actual alert that is going to the you know, jira and if you are really want to see the details of alerts you can come to here and then there are prometheus rules yeah yeah but that is not part of uh, this session yeah so the, the we have done successfully the integration of jira and the, all the documentation is already provided in the description and you can you know also come here and this is the documented you need to first of all install this application following this documentation having said that you have already installed grafana on your you know your cluster which is already displayed in uh, the the other demo the previous demo so yeah i'll i'll just want to wrap up this uh, session right away here and tell and if you want a session on uh, how to create a jira account i can do it separately but yeah that is pretty much about this video we'll maybe uh, catch you later in the next uh, session thank you bye bye